Hey, it's Jay from Bug Spray with my tip of the day. If you're seeing pests like clover mites or springtails on your deck or home siding, you need to surface spray around the entire home from your gutters down to the base of your home's foundation. As our articles explain, these pests are coming from cracks and crevices on the home, and in some cases from under the siding. Our Max Thor sprayed will kill the ones you see on contact, but as soon as it dries, newly emerging insects will take two or more days for the treatment to affect them. Since it will take that long for them to die, it means the newly emerging ones will be replacing the affected ones faster, so it can look like the problem is actually getting worse. And, it's, and in some cases, the active ones can wear away the chemical within a day, so be sure to watch and see how fast they come back. If it's within two days, you'll need to spray again, or better yet, start spot treating with our FSMP aerosol. In this video, you can see the clover mites and springtails side by side foraging over surfaces which were sprayed just two days ago. So for two days, there was no activity, and now they're back and worse than before. How can this be? Well, stated above, new ones have emerged after the max door dried, and they won't die on contact. So what options do you have to end the cycle if you don't want to see any at all? You have two ways to proceed. First, you can simply spray the max door again. If you keep retreating as soon as they come back, you will eventually get ahead of the ones emerging and their pocket nests will run dry. This could take two treatments, two weeks, or even two months of steady treating. It's not possible to know how many are living on the home, so no one can say with any certainty just how long it will take. The second option is to be more aggressive. Using the FSMP in all the cracks and crevices will have a much bigger impact. In other words, you can dramatically reduce how long the process might take by going after them where they're nesting. So with the FSMP, inject every crack and crevice you can find along with every wood joint on any deck. On the home, be sure to treat up and under the home siding, whether it's masonite, cedar shakes, vinyl, or aluminum. Pay attention to any area where you flush them out when spraying. In other words, if you see any coming out when you spray the FSMP, be sure to apply twice as much at that location. FSMP will irritate and drive out any insect. In most cases, they'll die quickly, but you don't want to leave any behind, so make sure these nests are eliminated. Also remember, these small pests don't forage far from their nests, so think small. If they're on these column caps like you see in the video, it means they're nesting under them, so be sure to inject the FSMP up and under the caps. The bottom line with these springtails, sosids, clover mites, and other small pests is that if you don't want to see any crawling around, you'll have to be super aggressive and treat where they're nesting. Of course, spraying the ground with our liquid and granules will prevent more from coming up and onto the siding, but to get the ones already on the home will require a lot of focused applications where they're nesting. I'm Jay, and that's my tip of the day.